Guys, the chickens here bringing another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, it's gonna be all about the main base. I'm just kidding. Nobody, uh, nobody wants to see that. Well, maybe some of you do, and maybe we'll do it in a little bit because the worship season is coming to an end. Um, but we got some pretty big decisions to make. We got a few upgrades left. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the whole tech tree unlocked or not, but um, just in case, we'll see how it goes. But guys, I want to give a big shout out to everyone using the code Chicken. I think very soon I'm gonna be able to. Uh, announce what we're doing for giveaways, and I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make it cool. I'm gonna make it really fun. So I know, just hang in there. And uh, those of you that are uh, using it, um, yeah. So just appreciate, it and uh, something cool is coming for you. So, um, and if you want to be entered in that, <coughs> like I always say, uh, just send me a screenshot on Twitter or join the Discord server. Uh, either of those, I'll be checking, uh, or Instagram, I guess too. Um, yeah, DMs are open on there. So one of the social medias. Anyways, guys. So. Check this out. We got 52 keys. We got almost 5 million upgrade tokens. Uh, last night I got the GB. Of course, I had to. I had to get that and max it out. Now here's the big decision, right? Is troop damage versus building health? And the consensus is troop damage because um, having the extra. Look at it this way. Say everything is everything is equal. One player has the troop damage. The other player has the uh, has the building health. The troop damage is going to allow you to get through the base faster, even with the extra building health. The damage is more important than the health for that reason. Uh, if you have the building health, it might take them, you know, it's going to take them a little bit longer. But if they have the troop damage, it's, it's not going to take them that much longer. So, I mean, the uh, the heavy hitter is, is the troop damage. And also, um, we want to get into these three prototypes. We want to get that grappler. Why? Because the grappler is going to hit bombers. Now, there is a little bit of a bug with the grappler that I'm going to explain right here. Um, so, essentially... Say you throw the grappler up here, which is probably where I'm going to put it anyways. Um, if it's pulling bombers that are by this flamethrower or this engine room, if it's grabbing those guys, uh, what happens is, from what I've seen, I don't know if this happens all the time, but at least I can say 100% sometimes, the grappler will pull them over here, and they will get stuck at the border. So how do we take advantage of this? Because it is a bug, it shouldn't happen, it should pull them right over to the grappler. What we're going to do um, is we're going to put some splash damage defenses right uh beside where the grappler is going to potentially drop the bomber so it's going to pick them off from this side and we have flamethrower coverage uh right around this hole so this is kind of like the uh the grappler trap setup if you want to call it that i'm also going to throw a boom mine uh right there did not mean to move the flamethrower <laughs> didn't mean to move the boom mine over uh and we'll, we'll do something like that so we'll see if that position works out for us honestly i haven't optimized this base yet for uh seven engines uh, let's take a look at what some of the big boys are doing here. Yeah, I guess most of the bases are doing it like this. But I find this base pretty easy to attack. And let's just go into it and uh, get it into the attacks uh, from here. Uh, chicken's all wrapped up in all these cords, but that's okay. We're used to it, right? Cords are just uh, a part of life now. Being wrapped up in them, having them all messy and unorganized. Um, okay, so here's what we want to do. Here's what we want to do. So this is basically how I do it. I go one two three four very simple one two three four now i'm not saying this is the best i'm just saying it's been working for me um other times depending on the uh the prototypes that he has i'll just launch them all off right from there but i find on these spread out bases it actually works out pretty well so then i'm gonna go one two three four and we're gonna take out that laser and then we're just gonna shock stuff over here um i, I you just gotta keep in mind where the laser beam is and make sure that it's not um that it's not going to take out all your bombers in one hit because the amped up lasers with the uh so you see this one right here this is going to cause an issue here in a second um a lot of the bombers are going to cross that the, the whole point of this base i guess is just for the lasers to uh to be able to chop through the bombers as they come around the corner so i find taking one out with gumball energy uh really kind of throws off the um throws off the base because, like, you got one on the right, one on the left, or, like, they're in the middle or whatever. But the bombers tend to come around the sides, and they kind of go up in a line. And you just want to avoid getting chewed up in there. And then they got the rockets off to the side um, to pick out any stray bombers. So we want to keep, to deal with those rockets, all we want to do is just keep heavies alive. Um, and just kind of keep them grouped up somewhat. Alright, so this is not going too, too well. Uh, what are we going to do here, chicken? Let's go critters there. I got to take out this laser. And then what we can do... It's not a big deal, right, if we lose a bit of bombers. Uh, as long as we keep the good doctor alive. we got to keep him alive. So I'm going to recenter here so the bombers get away from those rockets. Um, 
I think Kavan's gonna go down. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, jeez, everything bad, everything that could go wrong on this attack pretty well went wrong. But it was working out pretty well for us before, but... Yeah, so if, I mean, if you get stuck without Kavon, uh, you're probably not gonna have a chance of finishing because you're not gonna be able to resurrect any bombers. Um, but we got a lot of heavy, co heavy chopters left, so, I mean, that's not a loss in and of itself. Alright, so I guess we're just going to, I'm gonna flare them up this way. And we're just going to take the long route here. Maybe he won't finish our base. You know, you never know. I am going to shock there just because I don't like the way that rocket's angling at us. And we have to keep these uh, bombers alive or we're not going to be in for a good time. I'll throw some critters down there just to protect the bombers again. This is where medkits would be really nice uh, to heal up those to heal up those bombers. But yeah, it looks like he is. Yeah, he just got through our base. So I mean, you know, it is what it is, but. We're going to have a lot of heavies coming around. <clears throat> I don't think we'll have any problem finishing the base. We just didn't do it very quickly. Um, so let's go like this. I do like how they're all spread out, but I think we have enough heavies now. Where, uh, and there's not enough defenses left where it's not really going to matter. As if the mortar just switched onto the bombers there. Even though the heavy's closer and with still within range, it's switched over to the bomber. Ah, man. You know what? I don't think I need the chest right now. So I'm not going to sit here for another minute. We'll take out this... Um, We'll take out this engine, and let's just get out, because it doesn't matter at this point. Watch the time probably be similar of uh, the retreat. Oh, God. <laughs> what a horrible attack. I'll show you guys my last replay where it was working well, um, just so you can see what I was talking about, because, it, I don't know. Like I said, it's not the best uh, strategy, but it was working for me, so. Zero. Okay, there we go. Thank you. God, that was painful. All right, so let's go over our last hit. And just show you guys what I was talking about here. So this guy had a lot of boom mines on the left. All I did, um, I, I forget if I ignored them or used, I, I think I used some critters. But this one, they actually ended up not splitting and going all on the one side. And I think there was one bomber. There's this one bomber over here that was actually clutch. Uh, he stayed off to the left. But the, the biggest difference with this attack and the last one was I just had Kavon stay alive. And, um, you know, I was uh, a little bit more careful with these rockets on the right. I was able to shock them and uh, just had so many heavies uh, up from second wind that uh, uh, the left side wasn't a concern at all. And then we, we just uh, simply cleared through the base. And it went really well, and it was actually pretty simple. So, um, yeah, I, you know, there's going to be minor things that come in and change that. But for the most part, you know, this is how I've been doing at, uh, at 70 hours, and it's working so far. So... If it ain't broke, don't fix, guys. Let's get into one more attack. Hopefully, it goes a little bit better than that last one, but we will see. Um, okay. So, this guy's got... Ooh, this guy's got a lot of mines. Four engines at the back. And three in the center. So, let's go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll bring the good doctor in at some point. Let him catch up. And let's go... Um, Let's go with this one in the back. One, two, three, four. I know it's a lot of GBE, but um, it has been somewhat helpful so far. So we'll go like this. That's a nice shock right there. I like that. We just got to keep the bombers. Now, the bombers are going to hug the walls, so there is a lot of mines, but they're probably not going to hit them because uh, there's no reason for them to go out that direction. So we should be okay there. We just got to keep that laser down. We just got to keep that laser down, and we should be okay. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to move the shock a little bit farther. Oh, my God. We lost Kavon. Oh, Kavon. Why do you do this to us? Now, I don't... To lose Kavon this early without even using one second win, I don't think we're going to have a chance to finish this now, guys. Um, yeah, he just got away from us there. Maybe a delay drop on, on, on the good doctor would have been better, but... I don't know. That's tough. Now, these rockets from the side are just going to eat us alive because we have no heavies to protect the bombers. Um, let's actually bring everybody over here. And I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, that was a mean shock bomb. Brutal, man. Brutal. Oh, my God. Well, it was still the right prototype that we picked. That's about all I can say about these attacks. My God. Um, I kind of just wanted to retreat and get out of here. This is so painful. Um, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. So, um, these, uh, these freights on these cranes here, 
Very, very important to watch this and not the attack. Um, it looks like they could be dropped into the ocean at any minute. You know, they actually have pretty cool graphics way down below here where you can see the waves like going underneath the boat. Um, we have turrets over here. We got these giant propellers. You know, there's a lot of detail in warships, guys. Here's the, uh, here's the mega crab things that we saw a long time ago. Uh, they were being made in operations and stuff. Huh, are we not done this yet? Okay. Well, um. Whew. Whew. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is a big push stream. And, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, because we are going to be able to get most of the upgrades, uh, this season. Most of the important ones anyways. We might not get building health, but I think we'll definitely get the Doom Cannon for the next prototype. Which is probably going to be the route. Uh, that we want to go with, but, um, but yeah, guys, sorry about these attacks today, you know, it happens, man, it happens, you know, chicken is human at the end of the day, or chicken is chicken, anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, thank you for those of you using the code chicken in the shop, I do appreciate it, and, uh, as always, guys, uh, that is gonna wrap up the video today, make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, maybe informative, and we'll see you next one, guys, chicken out, back, back, back.